welcome back to my channel my name is Penny and if you're new great to meet you today I've got a Timu haul as with all my hauls <laughs> this one have been sat in its bag for quite a while um just haven't filmed it so I thought I would film it and show you what I got got two bags One is craft stuff and what isn't. <laughs> That's cryptic, isn't it? Right, let me open them a minute. Take it all out. There we go. Right then. Now the camera's slipped. There we go. So. I wanted some sleepwear, so I thought I'd have a little look on Timu because they're cheap and cheerful. I'm not going to give prices or anything because they change so often. Go on one day and it's uh, one price, you go on another day and it's a totally different price. But they're never expensive guys, you know that if you've shopped on Timu you will know that they are dirt cheap. Cheaper than like Primark, which is where I would normally get my jammers and stuff from. So yeah, at the minute, there's no way I'm going near town. No is what's happening in the world. So uh, yeah, team who it is. So this first one is a nighty. It feels ever so soft. How on earth has this been folded? Oh my God, this looks like it could be even be a dress. Right, this is meant to be a nighty, guys. Look at the flowers. Love it. What do you think? Love it. What do you think, Oh, Yes. Could have done with these in all that hot weather, but I hadn't opened the packages to film. So <laughs> I missed out. I could have been wearing them. Oh, my God. This is stunning. This looks too long to be a nighty. Could I get away with that as a dress? Yeah. I think I might, you know. What size did I buy? Oh, it's lush. Oh, yeah, I think this is going to be a dress. Love it. It's a 3XL, which is a, like, 2022. So, yeah, love that. They're probably all the same size. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm wearing that as a dress. I love it. How many times can one person say she loves something? Second package. For some reason, they've been double bagged. So they've got the Timu bag and then another bag inside. What's that all about? I mean, I do keep the bags. They're reusable. I'm going to use them for all sorts of things. Tip, guys. If you're going on holiday, keep these. They make amazing bags for wet swimwear. Or you can use them for packing. Because you can um, squish the air out and they fold up to next to nothing. So, yeah. Join sandwiches. Sandwich yeah, bags. sandwich bags. So many uses for these bags and I always keep them. So, I guess you buy a load of stuff off Timu and you get a load of free storage bags as well. <laughs> right, what's this? Is this Jarmus? Yeah. So, look at that design strawberries they're wide-legged so what i like looks a bit odd again they are a yeah 3xl so there's the bottoms oh i love them yep love them show you the top now that's the back of it that's the front of it lovely and i love strawberries so yeah happy so far what is this oh yeah i remember buying this i bought this because it reminded me of care bears they're not but they reminded me of care bears is this a night to your dramas? 
there's the nighty. Never wear nighties, guys. But the heat that we had, I did wear one, and it was so nice. So yeah, look at that. It looks just like a little carpet. Look how. It does, doesn't it? It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Now I can't wear that as a dress. This is a dedicated nighty. But the one with the flowers on is definitely going to be worn as a dress. Oh, I love this. Absolutely love it. And I know somebody who's going to want to steal this off me. It feels so soft, isn't she? It's so soft and, oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. going on with all these bags they're not very environmentally friendly are they come on team who play the game <laughs> oh i think this is a nighty too so i only had one pair of jammers these were all nice oh god this is long this is a long long one it is these are penguins flamingos flamingos and monstera leaves how lovely is that? Look how lovely it is. That's nice. Is you, you saying that, Sarkadi? No, that's nice. Are you doing a Mrs. Brown? That's no, nice. That's nice. Mrs. Brown says that's nice. When really she's saying, F off. F off. <laughs> <laughs> but do you like it? Yes, I do. It's really long, though, guys. Really, look. I do love it. I really do love it. Yeah. That is the sleepwear. I thought I had more jammers, but no, they're nighties. I'm really pleased with those though, really pleased. And now I know what they're like. I'll um, order some more when needed. And then these, I bought a couple of packets, guys. Now, I'm not one for showing knickers on my channel. <laughs> but these i'm just gonna get a pair out and i'm not one either for wearing bloody floral, floral knickers you know <laughs> i'm not quite at that stage but <laughs> saying that i am obviously because i bought them these knickers from timu are super soft they are big pants guys i'm not gonna lie they're waist tuckers they're Jones, they're big <laughs> but they're so pretty they've got these like little pulling bits on the waist oh they're lush they're so comfortable i've already worn one pack they come in a pack of five yeah a pack of five um i think they were like four pound fifty might have been less than that i mean there's the back of them they're just your normal knickers but yeah love them so yeah if you fancy a pair of knickers that are super super soft and dirt cheap they last guys they've gone through the wash not these, the other pack I had. They've gone to the wash and come out beautifully. I really love them. So, yeah, I guess I am at the floral big knicker stage. I'm an old lady. <laughs> yeah, some of them are a bit questionable. I mean, that colour. But who sees your knickers? Really, you know? There's a black pair. They got a really nice cut to them as well. Super soft, super um, cozy, cozy, comfortable. And there's a peach pair. Uh, yeah, I wish they were all white actually, white or black, because they're kind of less, less old fashioned. But like I said, it doesn't matter. They're super cozy and cheap. So yeah, I recommend them guys. I really do recommend these knickers. Now, I spotted these perfumes on there and I was like, hang on a minute. That looks like the design on the Gucci floral perfumes. So I had a little look and they are guys. This one I think is Gardenia. They're all in foreign, they're all in foreign languages, but I think that's the Gardenia one. And I think the other one is the jasmine. I might have had them the wrong way around. I'm sure it was jasmine. 
they do a green one as well, but I don't know what that smells like. But yeah, they're glass bottles. But they are the dead spit of the Gucci florals. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little picture up there of the Gucci to show you. But they do smell lovely. Yeah. And I think these were, they were under four pounds. They were so cheap. That's the pink one. Wish you could smell them really. One day maybe there will be such a thing as smell-o-vision. Not in my day or even in my kids' days, but maybe one day there will be. I like the purple more. Yeah, I like the purple one more. But I like the colour of the pink one. <laughs> so yeah, a good dupe there for the Gucci's. I don't know if they're going to be as long-lasting, probably not. But yeah, quick glance at them, you would think they were Gucci. Right, now on to some crafty bits. Empty it all out. I'll show you what I got. Oh, it's not all crap. Got a couple of headbands. I just did a charity shop haul and um, there was a red and white polka dot dress in there and that I would go lush with it. It feels great. Plenty of give in it. I'd obviously have to like rearrange my hair and stuff, but I love it. It's really nice. I think that would look nice if my hair was tied up and I had it on. So there's the red and white one. I've got a black one with a side bow. So the side bow goes there. Nice. Do you know what these are good for, guys? Hiding when you've got grey roots. <laughs> I've given my trick away now, haven't I? I mean, dry shampoo's all fair and well, but if you use too much of it, you end up with really white hair, which emphasises the grey and looks awful. So these little things are fab. And there's a lovely little leopard print one with black. Oh, they're stunning. I love them. They're really cutesy. They're nice. Yeah, so there was those. And then there was all these little crafty bits. First of all, before I show you the crafty bits, look at this notebook, guys. How stunning is that? Now, I did get two, but the other one, I've started a junk journal in it. So I can't show you that one. But this one I can. It's got a little key. Can you see that little? No, it hasn't. A little, I think the other one has a key. A little note, a musical note. And a little feather oh it's stunning and to open it you just literally undo the leather it's all bound oh it's gorgeous look at the bird absolutely gorgeous and then it opens is it no it's not real leather but it looks like and it opens then and the pages are oldie worldy they are that sepia tone and in the back you've got your wallets and ticket things and stuff like that receipt pocket but yeah i mean they are marketed as notebooks but with the other one i took out half of the i took out about that much literally half and um i'm going to make a junk journal well as i said i've started it a vintagey one i think so yeah and I'll be keeping that one, but yeah, look at that. It is stunning. So that was the first thing I wanted to show you, but that wasn't crafts actually, that was just uh, an added extra. So with the crafts now, I haven't got a lot here. A few little bits. As you know, I do junk journaling. You might want to call it scrapbooking, but I, I just love to make journals out of bits and bobs. I do use um, 
common sort of everyday junk envelopes that I will turn into um something pretty I can't even think of the word but I use envelopes I use wrapping paper wallpaper um pretty boxes off things um I'll just cut up anything that I think I can use for my junk journal you can use buttons you can use ribbons you can use feathers <clears throat> any leaves anything that you might come across in your day-to-day -day life don't throw it away keep it and you've got the the basis of making a junk journal easy easy to do guys it's time consuming but it's a nice time consuming I can lose myself when I'm doing it and I can be gone for hours not gone I mean I'm here but yeah I just love it I let my creativity flow and absolutely love making junk journals so yeah I got those papers there they're a vintage they're a double side I don't know if you can see because of the the light there that's better so they're on a sort of vintage theme then I've got this little book which I've started using a little vintage um pages vintage ladies roses all manner of things in there and as i said i've started using that one it's gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i'm currently working on an alice in wonderland themed journal i can't wait to get that going i mean i've done a few pages but I've got a long way to go yet then there's these These have been um, cut with a pink in shears, I'm guessing, that sort of thing. And there's lots of different designs there. So pretty. Floral butterflies, a bit vintagey looking. They're just so pretty. And guys, don't get your ephemera, is that how you say it, ephemera? Don't get that elsewhere. Always look at Timu first. Timu isn't a scam, guys. People are still saying, oh, it's a scam. How is it a scam? You pay your price, you get your goods. They're cheap as chips. How is that a scam? We've had loads off there, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, don't go anywhere else. Always go to Timu because the quality of these um these pages is second to none again these have been made to look aged so pretty i mean you could just use them if you're a letter writer you know i mean you could use these as um stationery I always use Timu for my bits and bobs when I want special bits, you know, not just everyday junk. These I've just dropped. <laughs> there was a whole package of them and they are on an acetate sheet. But look how cute they are. It gives them like a 3D effect because they're on the acetate. They're lovely. So I've got a whole pack of those. I thought it would be easier to show you, but clearly it's not. But yeah, so, so pretty. I know I can't get them back in. Right, I'll wait to put those away. Then I've got these. So I've got blue pages, pink pages with roses, and vintagey looking they're just stunning. So I hope you enjoyed that Timu haul. I'm definitely going to be buying my jammers and nighties and stuff off there in future and my knickers. Uh, I did buy a bra off them guys and it said, I mean you read, I read the description and did the measurements, it would have fitted fried eggs. <laughs> it didn't go anywhere near my 40Fs. I've been wearing the wrong size. I've been wearing a 38F and I've been getting double boobage. <laughs> so I'm in a 40F. So yeah, I was wearing the wrong ones. 
but yeah it didn't fit me it didn't go anywhere near me so if you're a big boobed girl don't try bras from vinted they probably won't fit but yeah i recommend them for everything else as i said i love these um headbands i've had bits of jewelry off them um oh these are still in silver they're stamped still they're probably sterling silver plated but they've been stamped sterling silver and they are well i've had them in ages and they haven't gone green or anything they're so pretty i'll try and take one out there we go so they're really tiny they're on a hinge and they're really pretty so easy to take in and out as well and just a couple of quid you can't go wrong even if they are only plated the outer is stood in silver so they're not likely to tarnish I'm trying to get it back in that's the only thing when i take them out is getting the earrings back in. there we go snap shut so yeah i do recommend I'm not affiliated with them. I mean, they did offer me to become an affiliate, but I didn't want to be doing that. Um, but yeah, give them a go. You never know what you're going to find on there. They've got some amazing stuff. Anyway, I'm going now. <laughs> I've waffled on on earth. Take care of each other, guys. Stay safe. Stay well. Oh my God, I've got the hiccups and burps at the same time. I never burp. I do this thing called a frog and it sort of goes and then it goes it goes back down again it never actually comes out as a burp never in my life have i been able to burp ever and my girls are the same both of them actually they're both the same <laughs> it's a weird phenomena but apparently it's a real thing as well there's a name for it but i don't know what it is so yeah anyway <laughs> i never know when to shut up do i Stay safe, stay well, look after each other and I'll see you in my next video. And don't forget, guys, a cheeky little thumbs up and a subscribe would go a very, very long way. And I really appreciate it. See you soon, guys. Bye.